You're dragging me, Wolfie. Dragging me to the game store. <laughs> Star. R Type 3 and Super R Type Collector's Edition. This game looks like fun. It's a space shooter, a shmup, whatever you want to call it, and the box set looks sweet. This is what you get in your box set. It looks really good. This game is a must-have for you space shooters, and there is a few little photos of what the game looks like. Awesome! <music> Undercover Cops. This is a beat-em-up game. Undercover Cops found cult success in Japan and was never before released in North America. Till now. So grab your copy and beat everyone up. Jaleco Brawler's Pack. Games included Brawler Brothers, The Peacekeepers, Rival Turf, and Tough and Nuff. And Mac Ultimate Caveman Collection. All three smash hits in one compilation for the first time. Includes all three Super Nintendo, Super Famicom, Joe and Mac games, Joe and Mac Caveman Ninja, Congo's Cape, and Joe and Mac 2 Lost in the Tropics. Hulk Parker's Crunch Out. This game looks a bit boring. You have to keep your employees working hard, feeding them, giving them coffee, and there's a few mini games. East Classic Collections includes fighting, Fighter History, Mizu, Guguchi, Magic Drop, Magical Drop 2, and Super Side Pocket. I don't know about that game. Look at these sweet Killer Instinct Mortal Kombat controllers. Wow, these arcade controllers are incredible. I don't have any controller like this, and I have lots of controllers. It's Mega Man! He's finally here for the Sega Genesis and Sega Mega Drive. We only waited 27 years to get him to North America. <laughs> Thanks to Capcom and Retrobit for teaming up. The Willy Wars saw a physical release in Japan in 1994 and a European release in 1995. The physical North America release was cancelled with it only seeing the light of day as part of a Sega Channel service. In May 2021, Retrobit brings Mega Man back to face all the robotic masters and Dr. Willy in the newest collector's edition of Mega Man The Willy Wars. I already have those two Sega Master System games. Um, 
This little Medusa, I wish I looked at it more because I'm pretty interested in that game. Dungeons and Dragons, I have it on the Japanese Mega Drive. And everything else here was just sports and more sports and more sports. I never realized how many sports the Sega Genesis has. Um, do you play sports games? What Sega Genesis sports do you highly recommend I check out? Comment below. Serious Sam on the GameCube. There used to be an Xbox 360 Serious Sam collection, but I believe it's sold out, and they are first-person shooters. Um, here is a TurboGraph. Wow! I have never been beside one or even held a controller until now, so this was very exciting. I actually wonder how it would look on the TV. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wish I could have it. <laughs> Another Xbox controller. This is a 8-bit music power. This is a chiptune album on an NES cartridge. It originally came out in Japan in 2015 by Ricky and Columbus Circle. Released 8-bit music power. A chiptune mixtape on a Famicom cartridge. It featured 11 songs from famous artists, as well as an art gallery and mini games. Now in March 2017, a sequel was released by Limited Run Games, and certainly ranks as the most unique way of mass producing and releasing an album ever for the Famicom and NES. You'll need an NES to run this version of Limited Run 8-bit music power cartridge. What do you think about these boxes of these 8-bit music power games? To me, they're just so cute and so beautiful. The colors, the art, incredible. Do you guys own these? Do you guys want these? Special Cybernetic Attack Team, also known as Final Mission in Japan. It's a side view shoot em up released in 1990. I actually like this game. Shadow of the Ninja, originally released in Japan as Yami no Shigotoni Kag, and later released in Europe and Australia as Blue Shadow. It is, it is a side scrolling action game released in 1990. Dead Tom is a point and click game. I'm actually surprised that I'm interested in this game. It was released in 2021, and here is the story. 3017, your employee sends you to study on the last ice age, which ends up about 10,000 BC. During this long journey through space and time, your ship is experiencing some technical problems. While you fly to Egypt, 13,000, 1300 BC, you have to land your ship for repairs. The only accessible place is a truncated top of a huge pyramid. And here is your ship. Almost done. The only thing left is to replace your diamond, which is used for space-time generation. When the pharaoh's sight first shoulder soldiers find you, you woke up inside the pyramid with a huge bump on your head. So this game sounds kind of interesting, eh? I have not really played much point-and-click games besides a graphic novel called Death Smile. So this is something new. Have you played this type of game? Jay and Silent Bob Mall Brawl, an all-new side-scrolling brawler. In the world-famous and beloved view as universe. Sorry, I can't say that. <laughs> this game has big levels, big bosses, and dope combos. The next game is uh, This is Golf by Bandi. I don't know what to say about golf because I don't play golf. Except glow in the dark golf. <laughs> Almost 
Stars Collection by Retrobit includes following games Bad Dudes, Buggy Popper, Burger Time, Ring King, and Side Pocket. Some great PSP games. Silent Hill, Castlevania. I actually have the Castlevania game. Just so many games. Uh, game Haven is like overly packed with games. So it was so nice to see how many more games were available this time around. Oh, there's folk Folklore. I really want that game. Have you played it? Folklore. to Odin's Fear. Have you played this game? I really am interested in this game. It is also available for the PS4. Um, which version do you have? If you have played it, PS2 or PS4. I kind of want the PS2 version because I do like the PlayStation 2. like these boxes i want the mega man one and i want the mario one and uh, i already have the cuphead box so i put my game boy advance games in them It's so beautiful, but you howl a lot. Here's Yoshi Woolly World for the 3DS. This is the English version, and this is my version, the Japanese version. I paid like 99 cents for that, something like that, plus shipping. <laughs> um, it's the same thing, except uh, I can't read Japanese. Girl Witch. This game looks really good. I saw this on Play Asia, but it's sold out. Oh, there's Shantae and uh, Psychonauts. 
I'll definitely have to film this section, the PS4 and PS5 section next time I'm in at the game store. A lot of amazing games here. These are all new games. They're behind, oh, Rook Legacy. They're behind the counter. Sonicateers, Sega Girl is here. Hope you enjoyed my video at the Retro Game Store. That is Game Haven, and uh, my friend Cool Dude works there. So, without further ado, I will show you what I picked up. I wasn't planning on picking up anything, but I did. So, the first time I went in, you're eating. That's good. Very picky eater, my husky. Anyways, back to the video. So, the first time I went in after my eye surgery, I came across some Game Gear games and they were not priced yet. So I was like, hey, cool dude, what is the price of, you know, um, this game, this Sega Game Gear game? And he's like, I think that's like 30 something. And I'm like, oh, it's kind of expensive. So anyways, I went in and the game was $12.99. Um, I will show you right now what it is. $12.99 is pretty good. So I got, I got Dynamite Hetty right here. So it is a platform game. And it is very similar to Rayman. So there it is. It does have some numbers down here. It needs to be clean. So this looks like... Uh, so this used to be in a store called Galaxy Video. Back there is a little golden tag. I'm not sure if this store closed down. I'll have to, I'll have to Google it up. Galaxy Video. So that is my latest Game Gear game to add to the collection. I do have two Sega Game Gears. Very happy to have these. I've wanted a Game Gear for so long. And finally, last summer or fall, I came across these two. I do wish to update the backlights. Let's see over here. So it turns on. I thought it said Sega would have turned on. Let's put dynamite. Dy Sec. Another commercial break. Does anyone have a Sega Nomad? Dynamite Hetty in there. And turn it on. Is it? The sound is incredible on my Sega Game Gear. is loud. Wow, good sound quality in this. Wow. So you have an idea of Dynamite Hetty. It is very similar to Rayman. It is a platform. Wow, I miss my Game Gear. I gotta play Game Gear today. Wow. <laughs> I can listen to this all day. It's my boombox. Sega, Sega boombox. <laughs> if you don't have a Game Gear, you better pick one up. Cause they are awesome. I definitely, definitely need to go back for some more Game Gear games. There was a bunch of them there. There was an X-Men one that I wanted. And this Game Gear is in great condition. The sound is great. Of course, the backlight could be updated, but I don't know. I think it's in pretty good condition. 
and uh, I would like to add more Game Gear games to the collection. At the moment, I have Sonic 2, Sonic Chows, Chuck Rock, Lion King. What is this? Surf Ninjas and Jungle Book. So that's about six games, seven games now that I have this one, the Dynamite, Dynamat Teddy. I do not have a Game Gear with a box, but imagine that. Maybe one day your Sega girl will find a Game Gear game with a box. That would be incredible. Enjoyed going to the retro game store so much. I was in there for quite a long time. Um, I was really excited to see all those box games. That, that was amazing. And that Mega Man box set by, by Retrobit. That was wow. That was a wow. I really, really wish I could get that. It was a little bit too much. Um, I've come across it online, but pretty much everywhere is sold out. I think there's only one place in the UK that has it. So I would have to compare the prices. Strictly Limited does have the Mega Man box game that I want. There it is. Mega Man for the Sega Genesis. There is only 3% left of these games. So probably just three copies left. Hopefully one of those copies are mine and the other three games in my cart I could pick up this month. See if it's worth shipping or buying local. Local is always better to buy if you can. I can't, I can't close this. I can't figure out how to close this thing. <laughs> Plus I only have one eye at the moment because I have one contact in this one. This one's really blurry. So it's a bit hard for me to see at the moment because I didn't want to wear my glasses. So anyways guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button and I'll see you all in the next adventure guys. See ya. Sega girl, Sega, Sega, Sega girl. Her name is Shira. Shira, Shira, Shira. A dynamat. I got dynamat. Come in with my peasant dress. Come in with my peasant dress. And that's all, folks. <laughs> I actually have that game on the PS2. Woody Woodpecker. My finger. My finger is in front of the...